I do forget that they have a voices, uh, the characters have voices for combat. So I'll likely, once we start getting the characters and what I'll try and mold my voice to sound somewhat like that. Obviously, I had no idea what Joshua sounded like, so. Here comes some more. Depending on the enemy, some physical attacks may be ineffective. Let's use art and not physical attacks. Okay. Arts are effective on enemies that are good at avoiding physical attacks. Arts can also make long-range attacks possible, but they require time to be cast. EP is consumed when arts are used. EP can be recovered by resting at inns, hotels, or by using charge stations or other items, like an EP charge. Alright, so now you're going to let me use arts? Uh -huh. oh. Arts are effective against foes, which are difficult to hit with a weapon or those on physical ta on which physical attacks have little effect. It takes time before arts can be cast. Also, EP can is consumed when arts are cast. All arts have an element. Determine the element most effective against your foe and use it. Oh. Uh, drop a large boulder on enemies. <laughs> uh, what do you have? Soul blur? Faint, 20%. Yeah, they're not going to do anything. So basically, it takes a turn to cast arts. Ooh, chest. Ooh, boy, I'm going to have trouble imitating that. Piece of cake. Ugh. More sepith. And a crisp onion. That's what I look for in my enemy drops. Aha. Uh -huh. Estelle, let's try using crafts this time around. Since crafts and other effects but <coughs> since crafts have other effects besides just dealing out damage, they're worth a shot. Roger that. Crafts have range limits but can be used instant utilized instantly. CP is gained by dealing out or receiving damage during battle. Crafts are character-specific skills, which not only deal damage, but also have a broad range of effects. Using crafts consumes CP. CP is gradually gained by dealing out or receiving damage in battle. Aha, huh, morale. Shout to encourage allies. We can do that. Ah, that's instant. Come on! Yeah! Dual strike. Mmm! Oh, it's two hit. Ooh, get wrecked. <laughs> they didn't do anything the last few times. Uh, we're good to go. Nice. Cure to four. We're good to go. Hell yeah, boy. Reviving bomb. Oh, what a surprise. Another creepy thing. I wish there were an easier way to take care of them. One blow using an S-Craft or S-Break shouldn't do the trick of just about any enemy. The catch is, our CP has to be at least 100% to pull off one of those moves. These devastating attacks can only be unleashed when the CP gauge is above 100. S-Breaks are t actions which allow S-Crafts to be immediately unleashed while ignoring the, uh, the battle order. S-Crafts, which are unleashed at as S-Breaks, can be changed by going to the ta to Tactics and then set S-Break within the main menu. Ah, <laughs> uh, we do not have enough CP as of yet. So, smack this guy. We do have enough now. These actions, which allow S-Crafts to be immediately unleashed while ignoring the battle order, once the CP gauge reaches zero. S-Crafts will also be will be used as S-Breaks. Wait, what? Well, oh, which will be used as S-Breaks can be changed by going to Tactics and then S-Break, set S-Break within the main menu. Press the Break button to unleash an S-Break. An S-Break cannot be unleashed under the crossed out position condition. Now, press the Break button and try unleashing an S-Break. If you're using a keyboard, you may use the number 1 through 4 keys, or the arrow keys, to select it before unleashing it. 
Ah, so it lets her go again. And she's now going to pummel this thing. Yeah, you really went overkill on that one. Ah, so you gotta be quick. You gotta be very quick if you want it. Sever. Let's do this! Whoa! Hiya! Oh! Anime! That was pretty cool, actually. And he's going again. Oh no, it's just our turn. Yeah. Let's move out! Woo! I swear to God, this guy's got, like, the, the trademarked anime voice. Door, but there's a chest I also really want. Hmm, decisions, decisions. So, that's the treasure chest we're after, huh? If we've made it this far, the rest is gonna be a piece of cake. Seems like we've got a little breathing room, at least. Let's pay close attention to our battle order this time. A mm, little deeper, a little higher. Let's pay close attention to our... Mm. Let's pay close attention to the battle order this time. There should be a number of ways to get our more mileage out of our actions. During battle, there are several bonuses which can be allotted to turns. Turn bonuses have the same effect regardless of whether they are allotted to an enemy, ally or foe. Using S breaks to ignore the battle order makes it easy to jump in and strip an enemy of their turn bonus. quite a few of you. These icons indicate the bonuses allotted to the battle order. If a battle icon appears next to a cactus icon, they will receive that bonus. Heal 10 HP, 7th up, you see, indicates the effects of each icon. Hey! Nice. Do not have the CP for craft. So they can't cancel your arts, which is kind of nice, actually. <laughs> oh, nice miss. Nice. I get it. I'm feeling it. Could do some crafting. Get this guy out of here! Estelle cannot craft. I'm loving this piano. Still has no interest in trying. No, no interest in. No interest in trying to. Uh, oh wow! I can use the art from here. Look at that! Wow! So arts actually feel like way better than attacking. At least against somewhat simpler enemies, because that's the whole battlefield. I mean, things stretches over the entire field. Small box. That's weird. There's a couple of boxes inside the treasure chest. The fact that it's not just one, but two is kind of interesting. Remember, Estelle, our mission is to search and retrieve only. I'm pretty sure looking inside these boxes don't fall under doesn't fall under our mission objective. You're no fun at all, Joshua. This has nothing to do with our mission. It's what I like to call good, honest curiosity. You know, we're the only one two down here. We can get away with a teensy-weensy peek, right? 
If you feel like flunking today's test, then by all means, be my guest. What do you mean? Did you just say the F word? Yep, opening one of those boxes could result in an automatic fail for the both of us. If this were a real job, the contents of those boxes would belong to the client. As long as there were did nothing illegal, we would have no right to open them. I know you're right, Joshua. I just can't help myself. God, I'm losing my mind. I'm... I don't even know how many episodes into this point because I haven't actually had an episode to do yet, so I'm just gonna split up this giant long episode I've been recording. <sighs> if you absolutely have to know what's inside, why not just ask Miss Shara when we get back? He's pretty much me. Like, his normal voice, like, when he's like, we're good to go. Like, when he was doing, like, I assume that's not what he sounds like all the time. So he's basically just me. But for now, we need to focus on getting out of here. Alright, alright. The door is rusted and appears to be locked. Ain't that not fun. Hmm. We already went down here, right? Yeah, chest. We could go use the health thing. Because for some reason, I feel like we're not done. Like someone's just gonna show up and try to kill us. Ah. Alright then. Look at that. I can use the arrow keys to move. Oh. Is there anything I'm missing here? Like, along the walls? I wonder, do we have like a... Uh... They're fast. We're playing for an hour. Oof. What is, is that? Just gonna say it's empty? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Huh? Wait, oh, wait. Just go back up the sewer. What am I doing? Good work, you two. As a rule of training, I'm going to need to confirm the items in your possession. Yep, they're the real deal, alright. I don't see any evidence of tampering, either. I figured she would try and set us up for that. Congratulations to the both of you. You've successfully passed your qualification test. You don't really think someone would... something this simple would be a problem for us, did you? So, uh, Shara, what's in those boxes you had us get? That's for me to yo- no, <laughs> to yo- for me to yo! <laughs> and for you to find out after your training is finished. That's enough chit chat for now, so let's get back to work. You two have some things I left to do. Seriously? But didn't you just say we had passed the test? You still have to learn how to report the results of your work. I'm aware that you're both tired. But this is no time to shirk your duties. Let's get back to the guild. When is this day going to be over? All we did was run around the sewers a little bit. Although we did fight a lot of things. Oh well, no sense in giving up when the finish line is in sight. Agreed. Seems to be when we're... It, it seems we're within, within reaching distance of our goal. Your final training... Your final... Your... Oh. I... Oh, I'm stupid. Your final training is how to report to the guild. Whenever you finish a job, it is your duty to report the results of your work to the guild. Reporting how you resolved the situation and the steps you took to get there are all part of your job of being a bracer. You can report the results to the front desk in each guild branch, and as you already know, Ina is in charge of the front desk. In addition, this is where you will be paid for your work. I look forward to seeing great things from the both of you. Now that we're here, why don't you go ahead and report the results of today's training? Upon approaching the counter, a talk mark will appear. Press the OK button. We'll, pressing the OK button will display a list of options. Select Report to report to the guild. Oops. 
payment received 500 Mira, right? I'm a Junior Bracer. And a BP. Current rank is Junior Bracer 9th class. Good job, you two. It seems you were able to complete your objective without running into any major problems. Another thing to make note of is that depending on how you handle the job, you may see an increase or decrease in the amount of pay you receive. When you report the results of your work to the guild, pay in the form of Mira isn't the only thing you will receive. You will also accumulate points which are known as BP. BP are an indication of your achievements as a bracer. When these points exceed a certain value, you will advance in rank as a bracer and be awarded a piece of special equipment by the guild. The ranks of bra junior bracers start at 9 and go all the way up to 1. Please set your sights on making first rank and work hard. The amount of Mira and BP you receive will also be recorded in your bracer notebooks, so please have a look sometime later on. All that's left to do is finalize your training. Let's head back upstairs, shall we? No! I'll talk to you later, Ina. And sorry for putting you through more work on your plate as you putting more work on your plate than usual. Don't worry about it. Training the braces is important for the future of the guild. I fully intend to work these two to the bone in any case. <laughs> to the bone? And knowing Shara, it'll involve the whip. Let me say it again. Good work, you two. You have now officially completed the entire training course. From now on, you will be learning from your own real-world experience. Well then... Sherazard holds out two small boxes. Uh, aren't those the boxes? In answer to your question, yes. These are the boxes you received during today's test. It seems you, you seem awfully curious, curious to find out what's inside, Estelle. Uh, are you saying that's okay if we open them? That's right. Why don't you both have a look and see what's inside? Sweet! Alright, let's have a look. Ah! A little pin. This crest is... So does that mean we're... Uh -huh. Estelle Bright? Ju Joshua? Ju Ju Julius? Bright? Beginning this day at 1500 hours, you are both hereby appointed as junior braces within the Bracer Guild. From here on out, you will work as members of the Bracer Guild to support the livelihood of those around you, defend peace, and uphold justice. Congratulations, you two, and welcome to the Fold. Did you hear that, Joshua? We've become members of the Bracers Guild! So, I'm a Bracer now, huh? I think the realization is now just beginning to set in. Come on, Joshua, you should be jumping for joy or running around or screaming at the top of your lungs like this. <laughs> I'm not reading that. <laughs> you could use your eyes for that one. I was happy until you made my eardrums bleed. I hate to interrupt the celebration, Sistel, but I need to take off now. I have some backed up work that needs my immediate attention. We understand. You've been spending a lot of extra hours working with us during this busy time for the guild. For you now, Shara, I just want to say thanks. Likewise, I appreciate all the trouble you've gone through with us, Shara. Don't mention it. Training new recruits is one of Debracer's many big duties. Believe it or not, I was once in your shoes when your father, Cassius, trained me. So that's why you have so much respect for my dad, huh? There's actually more to it than that, but I'll save that conversation for another day. Please do. As for both of you, work hard to become full-fledged bracers early on so you can help guide those new recruits who come after yourselves. And in time, I hope to see you both become respectable bracers like your father. Anyway, I'll leave you with that thought. Bye, lady. Um, I just don't get it. Get what? This Charizard, this is Charizard, aka the Silver Streak, one of the most skilled young bracers we're talking about. So why is it she holds Dad in such high esteem? He just seems like nothing more than a no-good middle-aged man who's always out doing who knows what instead of being a father. A no-good middle-aged man, huh? From your point of view, it doesn't come as a surprise that you would see him in that fashion. Huh? Never mind. Let's hurry and head home. We should let Dad know we qualified as junior bracers. Right. We gotta get that thing. Oh, I tabbed out. Would you look at that? It crashed. Oh my god, it crashed. Oh my god. I can't wait to do all that again. Well, that's where we're going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.